morning, my name is Steve Rennie. I am the Wren Baron, and this is my Wren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. First off, let me thank you for joining us here again today. And before we get started on today's lesson, I thought I would take note uh, of, a, of a milestone, a fun milestone that we've reached around here at the uh, Ren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. This past week, we reached a 2,000 plus subscriber mark. In fact, we're almost up to 2,100 as I post this video, with almost 500 people joining our little conversation around the world in the last 28 days alone. Our viewers come from all over the world, from Australia to uh, Austria, from Denmark to England, from South Africa to South Texas, and all of us share one thing in common, a passion for flying and a desire to learn how to fly that plane even better. So before we get into today's video, I want to take a moment to thank all of the folks that have subscribed to the channel, who've posted your wonderful comments, your tips, and sometimes your criticisms. It's all appreciated, and I'm so happy to have you be part of the conversation. And one of the best ways to learn how to do anything, including flying, is to ask questions. I'm often reminded of some great advice I got from my Tuesday loop at Hillcrest Country Club, Mrs. Charlotte Ellis. She said to me, Steve, if you don't ask, you don't get, and, and I would add to that. If you don't ask, you don't get, and you don't learn. So one of the other things I've learned about asking and getting is if you really want to learn something fast, the best way to do that is to hang out with smarter, more talented, more experienced people than yourself. Today's video is all about reading IFR low charts and approach plates. Subscriber Shane T posted the question on our IFR check ride in a Cirrus SR22 Gen 6 video. And here's the question. One thing I need help on. I looked at your flight plan and I can't seem to figure out how you were able to use RNAV21 for Santa Monica coming from Kimo. The RNAV21 says that the procedure is not available for arrivals at darts if you're coming from Victor 459 Southeast bound. Now, I'm in no way saying that what you did was incorrect, but I can't figure out what I'm missing. Any help you could provide would be awesome. Thanks for the question, Shane T. And before I bring in that smarter, more experienced, more talented pilot to help us answer that question, let me see if I can set this up so we're all on the same page. Here's the RNAV21 approach that Shane's referring to in his question. And you'll note right there in the red circle, it says procedure not authorized for arrivals at darts on Victor 186 slash 597 eastbound. Victor 459-597 northwest bound, and on the four, Victor 459 southeast bound leg. You'll also notice that radar is required for procedure entry from the en route environment on the RNAV21 approach as well. So for those of you folks that didn't watch the video, uh, we were coming from Las Vegas to Santa Monica. And as you can see, we had a little leg where we went from Bogut down to Kimo and then Kimo 3 to Darts, which is the leg that's in question here, and from Darts into Santa Monica. And if you look here on the IFR low chart, it sure does look like we're going southeast bound on the 459. So what's up? When my initial thought was that because I was on an IFR flight plan and being directed by ATC, that that must usurp any restrictions. But the more I thought about it, the less certain I was that that was the correct answer. So I decided to ask one of those smarter, more talented, more experienced pilots than myself, and that's none other than Jason Miller, top CFI and founder of the Finer Points podcast, and also the purveyor of some of the greatest flying experiences in the world. Here's what Jason had to say. Hey, Ren, I'm just finishing up a couple lessons, but I was uh, thinking about the question that your viewer had, and um, it's a bit of an edge case for sure, but I think what's going on there is that the note on the approach plate that says this procedure is not authorized from some given waypoint. Uh, first of all, it's tied to that waypoint via that little number one, the white one on the black circle. Um, and you could probably answer this better than me because I'm not flying the approach a lot, but my guess is they vector you, that they don't ask you to go to that waypoint, make that right turn and do that slam dunk descent, that they actually vector you around it, even if just a little bit, even if they just cut the corner, because specifically the note says the procedure is not authorized from that waypoint, but when they're controlling you, they have minimum vectoring altitudes, they can cut the corner, they're not allowed to send you to that waypoint and clear you for the approach, which is what the note says, but there are other ways to get you into Santa Monica. So just remember that in a lost comm situation, you probably wouldn't go to that, that fix and dive in either. You'd probably find some other safe way to get yourself onto that approach course. So 
Anyway, the main thing is that note is tied to that waypoint, and um, it's likely that ATC kind of handles that for you when they vector you. Anyway, that's my first initial thought, just kind of coming back from a lesson, so we should probably look into that. But um, anyway, tell your viewers that. I hope it makes sense, and uh, have fun out there. See you soon. There, folks, is why you talk to smarter, more talented people than yourself, because Jason's right on the money. That particular approach into Santa Monica, I've flown it a hundred times, and you never, ever get directed straight to Dart. So that is how, Shane T., how you work around those restrictions on the RNAV 2-1 approach. I hope you learned something here today. My name is Steve Rennie. I am the Ren Baron. I want to thank Jason Miller for helping us out today. If you want to hear more from Jason Miller, I suggest you check out his website at learnthefinerpoints.com where you can check out his podcast. And when you want to put all your newfound piloting skills to the test, I suggest you sign up for his Airplane Camp for Adults where he features adventure, trips focused on safety, education, and fun in the most challenging environments. I've been on all three of them, and I can tell you that they are unbelievable. And I look forward to seeing you again on our next video. We're going to be posting one soon about diverting from your intended uh, airport to another airport for an emergency, a bathroom emergency. Yeah.